Hello, and welcome to History Bites. Today, we're talking about the Imperial Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on the 7th of December, 1941. Let's get some background. The year is 1931. Japan has invaded Manchuria after an explosion at Mukden, a modern Shenyang, that was staged by Japan to blame the Manchurians. Japan wasn't satisfied with this expansion, however. They wanted to invade the resource-rich China. So after another definitely not staged by the Japanese incident at the Marco Polo Bridge north of Beijing in 1937, Japan declared war on China. With Japan invading China and committing many atrocities, a video on the Japanese Sino war coming soon, the relationship between Japan and the League of Nations soured. After the fall of democratic France and the takeover of Vichy France, Japan occupied French Indochina. This enabled them to gain more raw materials and prevent supplies getting into China, which would help them in their war. This was the last straw for the USA, who placed a full oil embargo on Japan, meaning Japan only had two years of fuel left for its navy. Japan's objectives were now to gain more oil and acquire colonies in the Pacific and India, as well as the Philippines, an American protectorate. In order to prevent America easily defending the Philippines, as well as to have free reign over the colonies in the Pacific, Japan devised the attack on Pearl Harbor in order to destroy America's Pacific fleet, and a day later, invade the Philippines. Japan also hoped that an attack against the American Navy with resounding Japanese success would force the Americans to seek peace that would favour the Japanese. Japan's Approach the attack took place before Japan officially declared war on the US. As opposed to Admiral Yamamoto's aim, he wanted the declaration of war to become immediately before the attack. On November the 26th, 1941, Japan's approaching force of six aircraft carriers left the Kurile Islands planning to launch over 400 planes against Pearl Harbor. Japan had launched reconnaissance planes over Hawaii to report on American ship positions. Japanese fleet submarines patrolled the waters around Hawaii to attempt to spot movement from American ships and to continue to report on the locations of their navy. There were going to be attacks in three waves, with battleships being the main target, in order to destroy the American Pacific Fleet. The Attack The first wave of 183 planes was detected by radar but the radar was deemed to be picking up only an expected arrival of six B-17 American bombers, as the radar operators failed to mention the number of incoming planes. The first wave shot down a number of American aircraft who failed to send an effective warning in time. The air attack commenced at 7.48 on December the 7th, 1941. The slowest planes led the first wave, taking advantage of the surprise and leading torpedo runs on the battleships. The second wave was meant to attack ships at a few ground targets. The third wave was never launched, due to professional American reactions to the attacks, resulting in good anti-aircraft defence and a lack of fuel from the Japanese side. The Aftermath Well, the attack drew the USA into the war and that didn't end up going well for the Axis. The attack did result, however, in damage to eight battleships, three cruisers and four destroyers. The US Navy was much improved, however, and many of the damaged battleships were repaired and returned to duty to continue the war. In my opinion, there are four major issues that force me to perceive the attack on Pearl Harbor as a failure. The Japanese were told to target battleships, where they would be much more effective at attacking radar stations and ship repair yards to deal more long-term damage to the American war effort. The Japanese pilots were going for glory, and hunting the biggest and best ships that were better defended against their attacks, so they neglected the more important targets. They got tunnel vision, and went for the big shiny targets, resulting in the attack being much less effective. Japan's plan of attack depended on Germany's success against the Allies. If Germany fell, Japan would never be able to resist the full concentrated force of Britain, the Commonwealth, France and America. This attack obviously brought America into the war. 
Japan vastly underestimated America's power and thought they were going to surrender easily and not be able to repair and expand their own navy to compete and eventually flatten the Imperial Japanese Navy. I hope you enjoyed today's episode on the attack on Pearl Harbor. If you learned something new, press like and subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment on what you thought and I'll see you next time.